How you doing, Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts, your source for Volkswagen and Audi parts, performance, and accessories. Today we're going to be going over fake versus real parts. Okay, so what prompted us to talk about fake versus real parts was we posted a picture on social media about a part that we got. We vet all of our stuff when it comes in to verify that it is indeed OEM VW parts or Audi parts uh, to make sure that obviously we're delivering to our customers exactly what we say we're delivering. Now, this prompted a bunch of people to ask us questions that were, okay, how do you tell? What's the best way to know if you're getting real parts? And so on. So we felt like it was really important to go through all this to try to help people understand the details of how to determine what is real parts versus non and the best way to go through that process. So in this particular instance, uh, the part we have a picture of is an N75 valve for a 2.0T FSI engine. And so what this picture shows, obviously the one fake versus real, the fake one, plastic is, is wrong. If you look at the plastic on the OEM one versus the fake one, the plastic is definitely different. Also, if you take a look at where the mounting plates are at the bottom, the one of them has a different finish than the other, which is pretty common for uh, fake parts. They'll look very similar, but when you compare them side by side to an OEM part, you'll notice the finish is slightly off in some way. They usually miss, the, miss those minor details. The other component is if you take a look at the font where the text is printed on the actual part numbers on the valve itself, you'll see also variances in that. They're different fonts. Now, the likelihood that they're using the exact same part with the same castings and they just decided to change fonts in between production runs, super highly unlikely. Also, you'll notice there's a part number on there. The VW part number is the same, but there's another part number, which is a uh, Pierberg part number, which is the manuf actual manufacturer of the valve, and they use different part numbers. So, I'm not sure exactly where they got this other part number from, but if you look it up, mostly what you'll find is a bunch of uh, Chinese sites and things like that where they have this other Pierberg number. I'm not familiar with exactly what the discrepancy is there, but that's how we obviously determined that that particular part was fake. So the next part we want to talk about was PCV valves, uh, 2.0T TSI PCV valves. And if you, we offer two different versions of this particular valve. It is a pretty popular part because they fail and they'll cause high pitch whining noises at idle and things like that. So when this part fails, it obviously you have to replace it, the diaphragm tears and you need a new one. We offer an OEM version, which is the Volkswagen Audi one. And we also offer one made by Prexa. Now, Prexa is an aftermarket uh, internal brand that we offer and We've vetted the quality to verify that it is good, but if you take a look here, we'll put a picture of OEM versus the Prexa one side by side, and you'll see that aesthetically they're different. The OEM one has a green surrounding gasket that seals it to the valve cover and an orange check valve uh, for the valve itself, and the Prexa one uses a red gasket and then has a white check valve in the center. These parts are commonly sold and uh, as OEM or perceived to be OEM on a lot of places. So what we did is we went out and found some links on eBay and we actually were not disclosing the vendors because we're really not trying to get anybody who's, you know, the internet to unleash their wrath on these people for selling fake stuff or, or uh, offering stuff that isn't what it actually is. But we did want to offer it so that obviously we can educate everybody and make sure you know that you're getting what you say you're getting. So let's start with this one. This is a seller who is selling this valve as a Viaco valve, which is an aftermarket brand. They are using a picture of a part which uh, is, has a green gasket around it and the orange check valve like the OEM one. I'm pretty confident that they actually stole our picture. This is kind of a common theme that we find in a lot of times on eBay and a lot of other places is people will steal other reputable sellers pictures because even though I know most people don't understand this, there is no database for images on the internet for parts. It, every picture you see on our site, we have about 40,000 product images. They're all taken by us in house for our products. And then obviously we release them on our website. People do obviously take them uh, who are maybe a little bit unethical. So if you take a look here, we'll show a picture of that 
eBay slide again. They're selling this particular valve as Viaco. This valve, Viaco does not look like this. Viaco valves, if you take a look at any of the other sellers who offer Viaco valves, they would have a similar red gasket around them and then the white check valve in the center like most of the aftermarket valves out there. So I would say I'm about 98% sure that if you ordered this valve from this seller, you're not going to get what this picture is. You're mostly because I think that's our picture you're going to be getting a similar valve to what our Prexa valve looks like, which is the PCV valve, red gasket with the white check valve in it. Now, here is another seller selling another part on eBay, same TSI PCV valve. They claim that this valve is an OEM valve. Now, if you take a look at the picture, clearly it's the same as our valve that we sell as an aftermarket brand, but they are claiming this is an OEM valve. Now, why they're doing that? Maybe they're not sure if it is indeed actually real or not real. Tough to say for sure, but clearly it is not an OEM valve. You're going to be getting something that's aftermarket even though they're claiming for it to be OEM. Now, eBay is full of this stuff and unfortunately it's pretty much gone unchecked for a long time. The parts market is very saturated with a lot of parts varying highly in quality, which makes it really hard for you as the end consumer to shop for a part and know what you're comparing is apples to apples. Because if you compare a price of an aftermarket part to an OEM part, you, it's not a fair comparison because you're not, you're not comparing the same product. Um, so our last example is going to be an email that we got. We get emails like this all the time from vendors in China trying to offer us parts. And basically, if you take a look at this email, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but we'll flash it on the screen. If you wanna read it more thoroughly, you can you can browse through it. Uh, basically what it is is a supplier in China who makes spark plugs. They say they're claiming that they make spark plugs for Bosch, NGK, and Denso, and they're also willing to, to make us either any of those plugs for us or uh, private label plugs. Now I think we can be pretty certain that nobody makes spark plugs for all of those vendors and is emailing us to try to make us spark plugs that are private label uh, spark plugs that no one's ever heard of. That's obviously extremely unlikely. And so we get emails similar to this regularly offering us aftermarket everything. Every, we get just bombarded with emails from Chinese companies trying to get us to offer their, their parts to our customers. It isn't a business that we're in currently. We do offer a few aftermarket parts. It is something that we try to do our best to vet before we do offer it. Um, so all that to be said is basically boils down to what can you do to prevent to make sure you know that you're getting what the supplier claims you're getting? This is really hard because you almost need to be an expert to compare because even some of the parts that we get, we have to verify against the OEM part to make sure that it is completely consistent with that OEM part. So it really boils down to, I think, buying from trusted suppliers, people who you know who vet their product and, and promise that what they're selling you is actually what, what they say it is. And whether that be us or somebody else, it doesn't matter as long as you know that you can trust what that person is telling you is indeed actually the truth. And unfortunately, we're in a weird situation now. The market is really unregulated as far as claiming OEM parts that are not. And that's probably going to change in the coming years just because the aftermarket is likely to uh, pick up on a lot of those things, but for now, just make sure you buy from trusted suppliers.